<laughs> Cinderella. Cinderella. <laughs> oh! <laughs> It is December 21 and yes I did just wake up that's why I'm kind of checking myself in the viewfinder um, it's pretty cold out to be honest so most likely we're not gonna go anywhere except for the gym yesterday though when I went to Walmart sorry there's like a plane um, I was in the baby aisle and I found a kit for cradle cap um, I don't know, we, coconut oil, we put coconut oil in his, air, in his hair and, you know, kind of just brush it out. It doesn't have fast results, so I kind of want to see if there's anything else that we could try, and I saw this kit. I'm probably going to try it out on, not tomorrow, but the day after, because he just had a bath yesterday. Basically, it's a cradle cap kit from Gentle Naturals. I think it comes with a small brush, which the hospital gave me one also when he was born. I don't know what happened to it. And also a lotion. I thought it was a shampoo, but it's actually like a lotion first, and then you scrub this into it or into his hair and then you wash it out with shampoo after so we'll give this a try and i'll let you know how it works yeah i just want to find something that works fast or well i know you can't rush these things but i just want to see fast results because he is balding already from the cradle cap because he keeps like scratching and pulling out his hair. I don't know if it's just from the cradle cap or because he's starting to pick up a habit. Like when he's tired, he just starts like and scratching. And it could also be because of his eczema. So I don't know. I just want to get his skin all sorted out so we don't have to deal with a balding baby anymore. some others in his room I'm gonna have to put away because he's outgrown these and then these are already like six months six months he might be able to wear these ones but I'm not sure yet good morning good morning hi it's 12 o'clock you sleep in late yeah Good for me. <laughs> What's with the tongue? It's raining. I'm not going to be too excited to go out in the rain. I'm here in my car. I'm at the post office waiting for James. 
Um, right now we're just doing some errands, so I didn't really bother to put on makeup. I just grabbed my mom's glasses and I'm out the door, but hey, what do you want? It's a mom's life. Okay, so for those of you who are just now tuning in and don't really know about our situation, um, I'm born and raised here in California. My husband is a Swiss. Uh, we went to the Philippines to study and that's how we met. We met in the University of Baguio from mutual friends. Uh, long story short, we went to Switzerland, we got married. A couple weeks later, like after New Year's, I, we found out we were pregnant and life has been really fast since then. So, I mean, it's been a cute, a really big roller coaster, a lot of ups and downs. Right now, it's we're just coasting it. By the way, um, I've been meaning to add that most of my channel is a lot of vlogs because, I mean, it it's like us documenting our son's life during his first year and, you know, if we decide to document it in his after years, um, then awesome. But I was meaning to add some content into it also like um, newborn must-haves or postpartum updates, things like that. Um, just because I also have a lot of friends that were pregnant with me at the same time or got pregnant after me. So it's kind of like, I don't know, it's nice to have that community of moms that were going through the same thing. Hopefully I'll try to film something tomorrow, maybe. Uh, because James will be in LA and I'll probably have some time like alone time to do that hopefully atlas doesn't cry like last time because last time i tried to film something he woke up but we'll see gonna have him wear beanies for a couple days because he scratched himself so much last night but yeah he's just got scabs all over him and his hair is missing in some spots so I'm just gonna have a beanie for a couple days you're still cute hi Jake what's that what's that what's that what are you talking about? He's so chatty. I just cleaned this hand, so don't judge me. I just want to see the progress of your teeth, Bubba. <laughs> can't see it, but you're chewing on me. Mm, you want cocoa? No, no, no. 
Here, have Coco. Oh, his hair. <gasps> My baby. If it focuses, these are me as a baby. Then you. <laughs> yeah, you definitely look more like daddy. But I kind of look like him here. Oh. <laughs> Don't want to give away the goodies. Cinderella, Cinderella. <laughs> oh, almost. I don't think that's even gonna be for a year. Oh, dirty, dirty. Oh, oh my God. Hey guys, so I'm at the gym again. I went to Barnes and Nobles and I got a baby book which is like this. I've been meaning to do this for a long time because like I'm a really sentimental person and I just kind of want to keep everything in one place. So let me go through it with you. This is what it looks like. I spent like at least an hour at Barnes and Nobles like trying to decide which one I wanted to get. So it comes with, you know, like uh, my rival, my first year, gallery of firsts, and I've already kind of started filling it up, like my folks before me. I had, you know, this is like me and James before we went to Switzerland. I have like his ultrasounds. Um, got a bunch of them actually here for him. This one you fill in mementos. So this is our ID tags. Second day he was born. Uh, his card, I have a baby shower card. More things here. He hasn't had a lot of firsts yet. I've filled out this already. I just need to print out the pictures someday. The only one I filled for my first is his holiday card for Christmas, if it focuses. He smiled on the first shot. So, I don't know. That's that. Yeah, I mean, for me, I always have to keep doing something like some kind of hobby because my mind just, I don't know, I go crazy. So this is perfect for me because I like to do things with my hands. Um, I haven't had time to crochet or make any dolls lately. So this is nice, especially I like to reminisce 